Hello, Mount Calvary, and welcome to your Thursday devotional. Again, I'm Vicar Tim, your Florida loving vicar, and we're continuing on our way through the Psalms. And today we are focusing on Psalm 13. Oh, this is a beautiful psalm. And through the last seven months, this has come to my head a couple of times. Um, and it's kind of dealing with what do we do when we feel God is hidden? When God isn't making himself as clear as we would like him to be, what do we do? Why isn't he making himself clear to us that he is the God, that he is the one true God, and he can fix all these problems? But why is he let the brokenness of this world continue? Uh, so let's get into Psalm 13, a great psalm. How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I take counsel in my soul, and have sorrow in my heart all the day? How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? Consider and answer me, O Lord my God. Light up my eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death. Lest my enemies say I have prevailed over him, lest my foes rejoice because I am shaken. But I have trusted in your steadfast love. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord because he has dealt bountifully with me. So you kind of heard there's a move shift there in the last two verses. But the first four verses are a great example of how God teaches us to be a little angry with him. To be a little frustrated with God. How long will you forget me? How long will you hide your face from me? How long will you hide your blessings from me? Why do you let my enemies triumph over me and look down on me? Why do you let the brokenness of this world continue? See, we know we matter to God. We know in our baptism we are children of God. But we struggle as humans in our brokenness because sometimes we don't see the whole story. We don't see everything that's going on. We only see our point, our point of view. We can only have our one perspective. And so even though we know we matter to God, sometimes we struggle with not feeling like it. And I think that's what the whole, this the psalm is getting across. These last couple of months, it has been easy to feel like God has forgotten us. It seems like everything that has gone, everything that could go wrong has gone wrong. First, we have a pandemic that has divided us. We went from online, we went from in-person meeting to online meetings. And then we felt we might be getting away from it, but it seems to keep going and going and going. And then on top of that, the division of our nation keeps rising. The George Floyd and the continued division of race that has just snowballed into this election campaign. The division is real. Satan is doing an excellent job of attacking our communities. And it's in times like this that we wonder, where is God? Why is he hiding from us? Why? Why doesn't he just snap his fingers and take care of it all? And luckily, the Holy Spirit has given us psalms to pray in times like these. Where times where we feel the pain and suffering of living in a broken world apart. Living in a broken world that is full of sin and anger and division. Where Satan still has power. So we can be angry. And we're encouraged sometimes to be angry. We live in a broken world. This world isn't perfect and that's not okay. That's not a part of God's plan. Don't let yourself think it is. Because God's plan is perfection. It's a perfect creation. And we will witness that when his son comes again. So it's okay to be angry. It's okay to have a little anger at this world and frustration with it 
It's okay to bring that to God. But remember, like the psalmist, For I have trusted in your steadfast love. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord because he has dealt bountifully with me. Yes, this world's broken, but God has dealt bountifully with you. Through his son, Jesus Christ, he takes this brokenness and strips it away from you. He, he cleans you, he fixes you, he heals you. You no longer are receiving the death sentence that you deserve, but you are receiving a sentence of life and love and forgiveness that none of us deserve. God has dealt beautifully and bountifully with you. So yeah, we're going to be angry as we live in this broken world and we navigate how to live among sin and brokenness and anger and division. But always remember, this isn't the end. And you know the end. Jesus Christ, who came and died for you and rose again, will return. And when he returns, we look to the body, the resurrection of the dead, and life eternal with him. Amen.